Continuing to field questions for you, Samili, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, can you please clarify the exact order in which I should sit the NBME exams, uh, Free 120, uh, UWorld, uh, all of this content? Can I clarify, I give you very exact order for how you should go about things for step one and two, which interestingly, that's the focus of this clip, right? That's the question here. And I've integrated this information into many of my prior clips. So if you've been watching my clips here, you might already know this, but many of you want that clean, consolidated answer here, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below, and that's with the clip. So what order should you do all the MBMEs? Now look, for step one, you're gonna finish all of UWorld. I don't want you curtailing it. Don't want you finishing it early. Even if your percentages are pretty good already, it's pass fail exam, yes. Recognize the best prep for TCK, solid step one prep. So I want you going through all UWorld. Then you say, answer my question though. What about the order of the NBME exams? Okay, well, I want you doing offline NBMEs 20 and 21 first. If your percentages are lower than 60%, I want you going back to do all the UWorld incorrects, not a second pass of UWorld, just the UWorld incorrects. If your scores are above 60, we can move you through the remainder of the offline MBMEs 22 through 24. Then you're gonna do free 120. Then you're gonna do the online MBME exams. Some students get real fucking emotional and heated about when they do the free 120. Some students wanna do that late. In my view, it's not a good idea, okay? I want you doing it prior to the online forms because our goal is to maximize your percentages on the online forms. That's the goal. The same fucking way you're doing UWorld prior to the NBMEs because we want you to have maximal scores on the, on the NBMEs. Well, UWorld preps you for the offline NBMEs, which preps you for free 120, which preps you for the online NBMEs, which preps you for the real deal. Okay. And then for 2CK, obviously it's a bit more complicated because there's going to be those of you on rotations where you're going to be doing things subject specific. You're going to be doing all of UWorld and uh, the clinical master's series for each rotation. And then there's going to be those of you who are post-grad where you can just study linearly up until the exam, which of course all of UWorld, as it is fucking said, you do all the clinical master's series forms, the NBME subject specific forms, 44 forms, 50 questions per form, 22 days, about three weeks. So all of UWorld, three-ish weeks to do all the CMS forms, Offline MBME is six through eight. You're gonna do a free 120. You're gonna do a second pass of all the CMS forms. Holy shit, okay? Then you're gonna do online MBME is nine through 12. That is the ideal order at this point in time for the majority of students. Never cookie cutter. That's the caveat that should be articulated, but that is the sequence in my view based on my extensive experience tutoring. Holy shit, okay? That is what I see as ideal for step one and step two. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.